Now, when I'm at home, I watch hours and hours of Discovery Channel and History Channel. Hours, Discovery Channel, History Channel. Ask me anything about sharks and Nazis. Um, <laughs> round of applause there. For, there's not, they're, not, they're not as bad as a lot of people make out. Um, sharks, I mean. <laughs> Nazis, awful. Right? Sharks, brilliant. Amazing creature. Okay. It can hone in on a floundering fish, right? Through the vibrations that it picks up through electrical impulses, through sensors in its flank. It doesn't need its eyes, but contrary to popular belief, their eyes are very good, okay? But it can smell and taste the slightest human secretion of blood and sweat, one part in a billion from a mile away. A shark would have found Anne Frank like that. <laughs> Nazis, rubbish. <laughs> I've been to her house, it's tiny. Every day they went in. Okay, let's move on. Sarge, can we look upstairs today? No, there's no one down here. Move on. Sarge, what's that tapping? <laughs> she had time to write a book, for Christ's sake. Well, it ends a bit abruptly. No sequel. Lazy. No, but... Not a traditional subject for comedy, the old Holocaust. But I will say something about the Holocaust, and I'm sticking my neck out here, but in my opinion, I blame Adolf Hitler. <laughs> he was the ringleader. Old Adolf. That name's died out, hasn't it? <laughs> he killed that dead, didn't he? No one's calling their kid Adolf nowadays. No little Adolfs going to school. Loads of Brads and Angelinas, but no... Look, you don't hear the teacher doing the register. Brad here, Angelina here, Adolf here. Uh, I do that quick so no one can take a picture of me doing that. Um, no, but people make excuses for him. People say, uh, uh, oh, he was stupid, he was easily led, he didn't, he didn't mean that. What do you mean he didn't mean that? They say, oh no, he was influenced by the political philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Because Nietzsche wrote this uh, paper um, talking about uh, a superman. He, he said, not all men are born equal. And Hitler misinterpreted this and went way too far with it. And uh, <laughs> think of that. You're a great scholar, you've done this work, and you get a call from the Führer. And the Führer goes, all right, Nietzsche. Yes. Yeah, good. What do you want? He goes, just read your book. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Love all that. Man and Superman, not everyone's equal. Kill all the Jews. Sorry? <laughs> not everyone's equal, so kill all the Jews. I didn't like that. I read between the lines. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't mean that. That's terrible. Have you... You haven't, been killing, you, haven't, you haven't been killing Jewish people, have you? What? <laughs> have you been killing Jewish people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A few. How many? Six million? That's what I won't do anymore. Leave it. Leave it at six. That's terrible. I won't do anymore. Stay for dinner? Well, I will, but be careful in future. I will. Are you writing any other books? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about it. I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gypsies. Do we need it, Mum? <laughs> Cheers. No, don't applaud that. We shouldn't, we shouldn't talk about such things. It's not like we're in peace times now, is it? There's a, a little thing going on in a country called Iraq, which is not my favourite war. My favourite war is... Um, oh, so many. Um, they got uh, good for different reasons. Falklands. That's... Probably the Falklands, because um, we won that one. And uh, 
It was great. It was against uh, Argentina. Yeah, <laughs> weird. Um, we're, we're going to war with Argentina. All right, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> the reason it's my uh, favourite war is that it, it was a range war. And what that means is the Argentine guns could fire nine kilometres. The British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our ships 10 kilometres away and theirs were falling into the sea and we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. And he's flayed it and you're just kicking him in the bollocks like that. Vietnam, best soundtrack. <laughs> Second World War, best ending. That had to be the end, that was a great finale, you couldn't follow that, could you? <laughs> People are worried about that, they go, oh, atomic energy, oh, it's bad, the effects are still being felt today, but, oh, it ended a war, and that's good. And it was discovered by Einstein, and he's a genius, and... In his 1903 paper, he said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies that when irradiated onto an unstable... Ma what maniac thinks like that? Really? <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I think that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mad too much thinking. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the universe is expanding. Of course it is, Stephen. Yeah, yeah, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Not a walk, but I mean... Just, no. Oh... <laughs> Open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You love that, don't you? <laughs> Greatest mind on the planet. <laughs> People say, oh, we should never go at Stephen Hawking. Oh, he's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. <laughs> Born in Oxford and talks with that fake American accent. <laughs>